Now to an update on a story we've been working on for years. Our push for answers is intensifying tonight after another convicted killer was accidentally released from prison. We first brought you this story to light in 2007 when a man killed a young pregnant mother and her boyfriend in Dallas and then just walked free. Their names were Lenoshka Torres and Luis Campos. It's been 16 years since their murder was mistakenly deported and he still hasn't been caught. But we never lost sight of this case and have continued to push for answers. Last year, the Dallas County DA found three other violent men were set free when they should have stayed in jail. Senior crime and justice reporter Rebecca Lopez joins us live now. You've been on this story for years, Rebecca. What went wrong? That's the big question. Like, what in the world has happened here? How can violent offenders just be released and the Texas Department of Corrections and also the Dallas County Sheriff's Department not know that they are not incarcerated for years? The victims' families tell me this is just another injustice done to their loved one. Meanwhile, it's the district attorney who is now having to track down these violent felons. We are working on it right now. Dallas District Attorney John Cruzo says he's been on a mission to get four violent criminals back behind bars. And because I have no idea if these people will go out and commit more crimes. This past summer, WFAA first brought the case of Nicholas Monerez to the DA's attention. Monerez kidnapped, tortured, and murdered Lenoshka Torres and her boyfriend Luis Campos in 2007. In 2021, he was supposed to begin serving a prison sentence for their murders in the Texas Department of Corrections after finishing a separate sentence in a federal narcotics case. Instead of transferring him back to Dallas County, the federal government mistakenly deported him. There was no hold or detainer of any kind on these people, and so when they finished their sentences where they were, they were let go to the streets. After our story on Monerez, the DA's office did an audit to see if other violent criminals were mistakenly released, and they found three more. The situation here is we have recognized the mistakes and we're trying to correct them. The DA found 32-year-old Darius Mosley, who was supposed to serve a 20-year prison sentence in a Texas prison, and 58-year-old John Washington Pauley, who was sentenced to 46 years for aggravated robbery. They were released from federal prison instead of properly being transferred back to Dallas County. Both both have been out for nearly a decade. These people owe us the time, and when you do 46 years, that's 23 calendar before you can be eligible for parole. Mosley and Polly are both back behind bars, but Monerez and another inmate whose name has not been released are still out, and the DA is searching for answers on how this happened. Cruzo also believes there may be other cases across the state and is working with TDCJ to fix the problem. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.